you know, retention and, and recruitment of teachers for a very long time. And, uh, you know, I think the pandemic exacerbated all of this, but I think this has been, uh, you know, actually a national and global problem for a long time now. The next education workforce uh, really is our way of beginning to think about how can we provide a workforce that can personalize and deepen learning for students uh, by thinking about teams of teachers and breaking down the isolation of teachers uh, to work in teams. We've talked about team-based uh, teaching for a very long time. There's a book on my shelf from 1964 about team-based teaching. There are others about differentiated staffing. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is a way for us to begin thinking very differently about a structural change, a workforce change. How do we define who's in that workforce? How do we take the people who are already in it? Um, how do we power them up? But how do we think about their roles differently? How do we deploy them differently? And then how do we advance them uh, in a variety of different ways? And that's people from all the way from community educators to our paraprofessionals and aides, uh, to our professional teachers, to our specialists, to our leaders, thinking across that spectrum. Uh, but how do we now begin to think about how we utilize all those people, how we use their strengths, how we distribute their expertise around groups of kids.